Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead. Uh, we're out here on this lovely Sunday morning. Um, hopefully, before, before the cicadas get too bad. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do our devotional this week. Uh, so let's go and get the business out of the way. If you like the video, give you a, get a blessing from it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and uh, you know, all that business. You know, comment. Uh, <laughs> if you got any uh, prayer, prayer reports, prayer requests, uh, anything that you want to share, any encouraging words, whatever. Uh, so comment, do all that mess, okay? And uh, let's get started. <clears throat> so, in uh, Romans chapter 8. Alright, Romans chapter 8 this week. Let's start at verse 35. That's just a lovely, lovely passage. One that every Christian should just bank on every day, day in, day out, okay? It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, ne neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. There's a lot there. <laughs> and in fact, all of Romans chapter 8 is a lot. And that verse sums up everything that Romans chapter 8 was talking about. And you know, so often we get, we get bound up, we get bent up and uh, bound up in what's going on right then, right now. Uh, our knee-jerk reaction can rarely be, it's okay, God loves us. <laughs> you know, rarely is that. It should always be that, hey, it's okay. I'm in Christ Jesus. God loves me. There's nothing that can separate me from that. And with that, it comes a lot goes a whole lot right we also need to bank on that I need to think about that and everything and everything because in every trouble and every hardship nothing can separate us from that love there's nothing there that can separate us from God's love and what comes with that love though? so in verse 1 there's no there was no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus it says therefore there's now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus so you can't be condemned you're in Christ Jesus and set free from sin so what verse 2 says is that you've been set free and uh, so there's no condemnation so your sins have been forgiven there's he's not accusing you of nothing anymore not condemning you right so no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus so that's a big thing comes with the love of God right and in verse 10 is righteousness but if Christ is in you your body is dead because of sin yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness so he's made you righteous give you a major a major spirit alive big deal <laughs> so no condemnation righteousness verse 17 you're co-heirs verse 17 you're a co-heir with Christ if you're a children of God then you're an heir of God and co-heirs of Christ so now you also have an inheritance <laughs> so no condemnation righteousness an inheritance in verse 24 there's hope so it says for in this hope we were saved but hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what he already has? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. So, well, hope. <laughs> There's hope that comes along with this. So you have no condemnation, righteousness, an inheritance. There's hope. All these things are from the love of God. But then at the end, he says something great. Where we started out with verse 35. It says, but, what, but who shall separate us from the love of God, from the love of Christ? He names off trouble, hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, the sword. All these things. So in any trouble you have, any famine, <laughs> you know, any danger that you're in, you know, trouble, trouble and hardship, that's a big deal. I mean, because I mean, how often do we face a famine? Or how often do we face, you know, nakedness or danger like you're gonna die? You know, how often do you face those things? That's, <laughs> I think that's the biggest deal. It's like, okay, so those obviously are big, they can be big deals, correct? But trouble and hardship, I think is something that we face a lot. And it's something that um, we may not always realize when we have that, when we're in that. 
I think trouble can be defined as many things. Um, the car won't start. <laughs> you know, been laid off from work. Of course, fat. Could almost be famine too, right? But uh, car won't start. Laid off for work. I mean, just basic stuff, basic everyday things in life. You know, whether it be a financial decision that you're making, whether it be anything, or whether it be a hardship, I guess you should say. A financial hardship of some kind, or just all these little troubles that go along in life. You know, you need home repair. I mean, all these troubles that can stress you out, that can make you feel like, you know, pulling your hair out. You know, that could just give you any kind of trouble. <laughs> but... Nothing can separate you from the love of God and all these things. And he says, no. In fact, we are more than conquerors. More than a conqueror. Okay? I think it's interesting that he, he used that term conqueror. Okay? So, but he says, all these things, we are more than that. And that word conqueror, I always imagine since he's talking to Romans, uh, that conqueror was used to describe someone who was in the arena correct somebody's in the arena fighting lions or is, who is in a competition of some kind or it's something of that nature I don't know but he's Romans you know I feel like a Roman, Roman guy who's in the arena fighting lions I think and then who wins he's a conqueror he's conquered this this task or whatever it is but paul says that in all these things we are more than that we've more than just overcome and won we're more than that how can you be more than that you know how can you be more than a conqueror but he says that if you're in christ jesus that you're not separated from his love and that in every every situation in your life everything you have to deal with you're more than a conqueror because nothing can separate you from god's love so remember that. Think about that. Take take heart in that. You know what? You know, if you're down and out, you feel and just moping around like Eeyore on Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> just straighten up, square your shoulders up, and says, "No, I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror in this situation at my job. I'm more than a conqueror in this situation in my home. I'm more than a conqueror in this situation in life. And whatever it may be, I am more. I have." I have that battle won. I have won the victory, not because of me, but because of Jesus. I'm in his love. I'm in Christ Jesus. There's no condemnation. I have righteousness. I have an inheritance. I have hope. I have all these things that I'm more than a conqueror. Just walk around with Romans 8 playing in your head because that's, that's, that's everything. That is the power of our faith. That is the power of our God. That is, that is the man we serve. The God we serve who loves us like that and why in the world if we serve a God like that would we forget that that's who he is don't ever forget that's who God is that's, that is the God we serve and that is the life we have in Christ Jesus so thank you guys for watching again like, subscribe, share it, whatever all that good stuff uh, we love you guys praying for you daily if you, need, if you need prayer for anything specific let us know my name is Jason, R.F. Christian Homestead. God bless you and goodbye.